So yeah, these are the only ones that I'll be using. So I have taken these out of uh, that. Now, first I'll check for intake, which is to be not more than 10. It has to be between 8 and 10. So it can either be 9. It, if it is at 9, I would not be adjusting it. If it is at 8, I won't be adjusting it. If it is 10, I might adjust it, but there is no requirement. So let's do that. So I have disconnected this wire, put it down here, just so that you can get a better angle. And this is what we are supposed to do. Insert this, and there should be some drag. And this is seeming to be a bit tight for 10 mm. No, here we go. Yeah, so you get that. Now once I put it in, I'll move it and see if it can go a bit up and this is too loose I think I need to bring it back to 9 mm well technically yeah back to 9 or 8 I think I'll be okay with 9 but 10 is like I would have to check it in another 5000 kilometers so it does not make any sense you get the idea right this is just too loose need to bring it down to 8 or 9 all we have so all we have to do is take this Put it just don't drop it and this like this and then loosen the screw that is below should be easy to access that so here we go as I said just Hold this and loosen it. Yeah, I had to stop the camera for some bit, but as you can see, this is loose now. Now the idea is we would insert, say, 9 mm, and uh, we will adjust it at say 9. That is okay. I'm okay with 9. Now the idea is, I hope you can see that clearly, that you use this tappet holder or you can also use a plus or something but this is better and the idea is to tighten it that there is some drag it should not be too tight that it's not moving like see i have tightened it it's not moving no now i've loosened it slightly there is some drag let's see yeah there is some drag still And this is it. This feels comfortable. So I'll just hold it like this. I'll use the 10 mm spanner and first and just make sure that you hold it here only and keep moving this underneath so that you feel that drag. First tighten the screw with the hand as much as I can. Here we go. Now holding this in place and I'll tighten this well, let's see can I feel some drag yeah perfect now the idea is to apply pressure on tappet holder on the opposite opposite direction so anti-clockwise while you're tightening the nut under it clockwise so that it's not moving out of spec that had to happen Anyways, let's do that. Yeah. Now let's see if I have done it properly. Yeah, there is some drag. Perfect. This is what was needed. So the intake is done now. Let's move to the exhaust one. Now coming to the exhaust one, I tried inserting 25, but it's going slightly in so this kind of needs adjustment for this one I'll be using the ring spanner in the intake one there is not enough space to use this so I'll again hold it thus the tappet holder um, don't drop this I'm telling myself and I'm advising you guys as well just don't drop anything
there we go it's loose now as you can see now what I'll do next is I'll just make some space and I'll use a 15 mm as I was showing you earlier and an 8 mm make it thus 23 and I'll just insert these in and that is why I opened it before uh, doing anything because I need to buy another set of uh, these feeler gauges make some space so that it can oh that was a scale <laughs> anyways so yeah this should make it 23 so yeah here we go this will make it 23 I'll just adjust it at 23 oh uh, here we go so this is 23 since I have uh, made space for it myself if I had a 23 feeler gauge that would have been nice so I'm setting the intake at 9 for now and the exhaust at 23 and now I start to feel some drag I have to tighten it to the point where yeah I cannot move it here I can move it slightly so this should be it this should be a good place to tighten these again 10 mm ring spanner inserting it like this to hold the tappet in place and again applying pressure as I tighten the nut first from my hand here we go applying pressure anti-clockwise on the tappet holder and tightening it yeah there is some drag let's make sure to tighten it so that it does not come loose while running perfect still some drag yeah that should be enough oh yeah drag perfect so that is how wall tappet adjustment is done now we'll just make sure that we are in the right stroke and everything double check as they say measure twice cut once that still seems to be in place now I'll just do my screwdriver technique I don't trust these marks can't help it anyways so yeah back to my old technique just to rotate the crank and make sure I was at TDC has to be inserted first yeah let's see now we are going down and again going down while I rotate the crank from my right hand clockwise anti-clockwise going down going up up now going down Yeah, this is where TDC is at. Again, checking with the strips. I can feel some drag. Again, some drag. No movement. I move them with hand just to make sure. No movement. Same with this one. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah, that's done. That is done. All that is left to do now is just uh, remove these strips, measuring, uh, yeah, here we go, yeah, these are out, now I'll just put the tappet covers back in, there is only one way they go in so it's not like you're gonna mess about putting it where they are not needed, so this is for intake this is for exhaust and yeah let's just put these screws back in now before I start fiddling with these too close to the spark plug gap very good idea spark plug is clean enough I did clean it earlier as well so yeah I'll just 
put the spark plug back in its place so just to make sure nothing else is falling inside let's continue now next part tablet covers have been tightened let's tighten the spark plug and put this back as well Don't tighten it too much. This much should do. Now all that is left is to connect the tank. I think that should be a simple enough thing. And then start the bike. Okay, on second thought, we never needed to disconnect this one. Ah, sorry, my apologies. Not gonna go back and re-record all of it. But yeah, this could have stayed connected. It is just this blue one that you need to disconnect along with this fuel overflow hose, this evap hose, this fuel line and this. So let's put the tank back together.